Hi guys, welcome to the channel. By popular demand, today I'd like to share a few tips on how to build your capsule wardrobe if you have a short torso and long legs. As always, I do encourage you to embrace your uniqueness and celebrate your unique body proportions. So make sure to experiment with different styles to see what works best for you and what makes you feel more confident. So if you have a short torso, most probably your main goal is to create a balanced look and visually make your torso appear a bit longer without adding extra lengths to your legs. That means that high-waisted pants and skirts might not be the best option. Instead, opt for low-rise or mid-rise buttons. Make sure to find the right lengths, and it's always a great idea to order a custom one that will be made to your body measurements in case you can't find the right fit or size. And I've been struggling to find the right fit, so I designed my perfect pair of pants with dress art, and it's the best pair I've ever owned, and I keep wearing them non-stop. And it's such a great investment, as I always feel my best. Choosing the right neckline is vital. Opt for v-neck or scoop neck tops and dresses. They draw the eye downward and add the illusion of length to your upper body. A short with a few buttons undone can give the same effect. Wearing a longer length top is another way to create an illusion of a longer upper body. Consider tops that are made of soft fabrics, so it will be easy for you to tuck them in to create the right proportions. And of course, you might consider wearing your tops and shirts untucked. That will create a lean line, providing the illusion of longer torso. Another trick that I like is to use a half-tuck technique, where you tuck in just part of the shirt at the front. And to incorporate tops with vertical patterns. Vertical lines create a lengthening effect, making your torso appear longer when styled with mid-rise jeans, for example. Blazers always help me feel put together. And if you have a short torso, avoid wearing blazers that are cropped or too short. Instead, go for a medium-length blazer that hits just over your hip bone, and that will create an illusion of a longer upper body. Consider your height and find the jacket in the right length that brings your comfort and confidence. And if your height allows, consider wearing an elongated blazer. It's a great way to balance out your proportions. Blazers with a v-neck collar and with an elongated collar such as shawl lapels is a great way to add length to your upper body. If you have long legs, you should be careful when wearing super long pants and jeans. Instead, try ankle length pants, they will certainly shorten the appearance of your long legs. Ankle strap shoes will do a similar job and visually shorten your legs, creating a balanced look. However, if you are petite, be careful since this shoe style can also make you look shorter. And if your bottoms and shoes are in contrasting colors, that will also visually shorten your legs. So again, don't be afraid to play with different styles to see what makes you more confident. Monochromatic outfits work well for different vertical body proportions, as wearing the same color from head to toe can create a long, uninterrupted line. Hence, the visual line that divides your upper and lower body is blurred, that provides a streamlined look. Monochromatic base is amazing if you want to play with different outfits to see what works best for you. For example, you can try jackets in different lengths to see what feels right. And you can also play with layering to add some personal touch and interest to your outfits. Be careful with high contrasting tops and bottoms to avoid segmenting your body. And if you like pairing black and white like I do, try adding a jacket or blazer to balance out your proportions. Avoid clothing with prominent horizontal stripes, as they can widen your frame and make you appear shorter. When it comes to dresses, the best styles are the ones that have no defined waistline, such as a shift dress, for example. A-line dresses are amazing too, and, you know, they are universally flattering. They are more fitted at the top and flare out towards the bottom, balancing their overall look. I designed my custom dress with dress art, and you've seen me wearing it in other videos, and it's super comfortable and definitely a great investment. Prep dress is another great style. It's so universally flattering to many body types, thanks to the built-in v-neck line and the diagonal direction that creates a waistline. Trench dress is another style that has no defined waistline and creates a streamlined look. 
And if you like sweater dresses, experiment with accessories to achieve the right balance. Avoid belt that are too wide or too thin. When it comes to accessories, opt for an elongating ones that will draw the eye down your body, like a scarf or a pendant necklace. Back with a long chain or even a sweater thrown on your shoulders will do a great job and help you elongate your upper body. And last but not least, make sure that your bust is well supported, especially if you have a large chest. Find the right fit that will create more space between your bust and your waist. And I hope you guys find these tips useful. As always, please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends, and it will mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.